Hey, good to see you again. Welcome back to my channel. Today is a beautiful day in Milwaukee, so I figured let's go on the motorcycle, have a grand old time. I haven't had any coffee yet today, so I'm gonna go grab some and then run a couple errands around town. Simple, fun. All right, let's get out there. Honestly, what a weird day. <laughs> I don't know if it's because I'm sick and I'm a little feeling strange, but everything that I'm trying to go to is closed today. I tried three coffee shops so far this afternoon. Two of them closed at two. One of them is usually open and it was closed at two. And another one I walked to and it looks like they're closing down for good, which is pretty freaking sad. They're like a fixture on the east side called Rude Cafe and Dan's gonna be so sad to hear that too. It's a great place to get uh, to get lunch, to get coffee and to hang out and now it's for rent. So pretty disappointing to hear. And then uh, Rochambeau, honestly they've been closing because it's like a lot of stuff, it's staffing issues and then and then they can't uh, sell anything and then they have to close down so it'd be It'd be really sad if Rochambeau had to close down because obviously I have a lot of nostalgia with that place and I used to work a couple shifts a week there. So <laughs> if you don't know that um, I'm, I, my primary work is web development. I do web development, content strategy, branding. Uh, lately it's been like a lot of cool like high level um, brand strategy stuff. So I work remotely or I work like directly with clients. I've been getting more local clients, but for a while, like all my clients were remote. So I didn't see like anybody <laughs> most days. And uh, I just started working at Rochambeau to make friends. And it was really good for that. <laughs> I made friends with the patrons. I made friends with other employees and I had a really great time. And then eventually I had too much web development work to do. And then I also started Great Lake Supply Co. So that ate up pretty much any other free time I had and yeah so I would still go to Rochambeau intermittently but obviously not as much as when I was slinging espresso oh well, now I'm an asshole <laughs> um, anywho if you didn't know so I mentioned Great Lake Supply Co that's one of my other endeavors and you know the channel's been growing and I'm sure a lot of you haven't had the time or, or willpower to go and watch my backlog of videos. I have over a hundred. Isn't that exciting? But I started Great Lake Supply Co before I started the channel. Arguably I started the channel because of Great Lake Supply Co. So if you ever want to support the channel, <laughs> supporting Great Lake Supply Co is the primary way to do that. So it started out with me coming up with all these designs inspired by motorcycles and inspired by naked bikes and visibility, cafe racers, because I have a cafe racer. I found it very inspiring. And I like naked bikes in general. And my username on Instagram before I even started riding motorcycles is Stark Naked. And it's kind of like a literary reference. It's not like one particular like poet or novel, but just Stark Naked and Stark Raving Mad and that kind of stuff is just like, turn. they're kind of older turn of phrases. A lot of people have never heard them. I realize if you don't read like, I don't know, 18th century English literature. <laughs> But the point is, I was struck naked before I even rode a motorcycle. And uh, yeah, I love naked bikes. So I had all these ideas for uh, designs because I'm, I'm a graphic designer and I just had some little clever notions in my head. So I made them and I'm like, okay, let's put them on t-shirts, let's put them on stickers, let's put them on buttons. It'll be super fun. And this is going to be like the first offering of Great Lakes Supply Co. while I build it up until I can offer uh, more robust products. So now I've got like pins and all sorts of cool like motorcycle accessories. But what I'm super hyped about and what I've been working really hard on is offering motorcycle gear. I've done a lot of market research within my own following to see what you guys are looking for, what's lacking for you. Um, you know, I'm not just talking out my ass when I say that people have a lot of gripes about motorcycle gear and I do want to help gonna set. <laughs> cool. <laughs> um, people have a lot of gripes about motorcycle gear, 
and I want to help alleviate some of them. And right now, I'm starting to offer gear by brands that I really like and that you guys might not have access to, so I'm excited about that. I don't know how much I can say because, uh, you know, my launch is going to happen in November, so there's still a lot to do. I'm still waiting on some packages and I still have to do some rollout and some photos and all this stuff, but I'm going to be offering unisex gear. Um, it fits, it suits both men and women. Um, and then even the bottoms. Now, they're just done by waist and leg measurements and I have been wearing, <laughs> I've been wearing the men's and I have a feminine body. Oops, I totally fucking overshot this. Anyway, don't, <sighs> Don't get distracted as I am. I'm getting excited talking about the gear. Anyways, I'll keep telling you guys about this after I do my little <laughs> drugstore errand. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, so if you, can, if you just can't wait, go to greatlakesupplyco.com while I'm in the drugstore. <laughs> I'm super excited to be offering gear that's a unisex fit. So women basically just size down one extra from their regular size for the upper body for um, for hoodies. And then men just uh, pick the typical size that they usually would. So I end up being extra small in the armored hoodies and I think it's a really great fit. One thing to note though is they are like a long torso fit. So if you're a shorter torso and you find that things are usually too long on you, this probably won't be for you. I actually um, roll up the bottom of mine, I roll it underneath uh, because I like it to be slightly more cropped while I'm on the bike. And some of you might like to do that, some of you might not, so uh, we'll just have to see. But I'm super excited and I plan to be offering more as time goes on, so keep your eyes peeled for my business. Um, I just love community motorcycle spots and I've been to ones in New York and I plan to continue visiting uh, the ones that I know about all over the United States and maybe even further out from there uh, but the ones in Milwaukee so far are more restaurant than they are like retail and I want to combine retail and cafe so that's my dream one day <laughs> and it's a, a long process, but I think we can get there. It's super mild. We've been really lucky with the weather lately, and I keep dressing wrong. I keep thinking that it's colder than it is, and then I get like way too hot. But I kind of like, I like dressing in layers. My fall is my favorite time of year, so I'm happy that it's fall. And I'm excited because I'm going on a trip to New York at the end of the month, Dan and I are, so lots of cool things in store but it's busy so not surprised that I got sick considering all the stuff going on and that I've been working really hard if I do say so myself even though that the, uh, even though there's been fewer YouTube videos the videos have still been very time intensive the ones that I've been working on just take a shit ton of time to edit so that's why I was happy to do this and hopefully this is an easier edit for me but I mean, time will tell. <laughs> I keep making things complicated for myself, but I'm excited. Ooh, I forgot to mention. I mean, I'll tell you guys all this, like when it all comes out, but I'm just like, it's, I've been thinking about it a lot lately because it's, it's pretty exciting. Yeah, I, really exciting developments in motorcycle armor as well. Like the most lightweight, comfortable armor that I've ever seen so far um, is getting developed and I'm gonna be offering it to you guys, so I'm super hype about that. Like, especially with level two pads, if you if you really take a good look at them, they are just like, they're just so thick. And for me, I've had knee, I wouldn't say knee problems, but I've had knee pain because of 10 years of Irish dance. I was about to say no regrets, but maybe there are some regrets. <laughs> um, but 10 years of Irish dance really took a toll on my knees. And Sometimes when I wear knee armor, it hurts. It's just like the strain of the armor over my knee. And I have a gripe with some of the way armor contours over the knee. Like if it's if it's not in the right spot of the garment for your leg length, it can be really uncomfortable because it's like too high or too low. 
So I've experienced that before with gear, the armor being in the wrong spot and then, you know, putting pressure and causing pain. So I'm excited to solve my problems and solving my problems will help you guys as well. And you don't have to be a girl to get the problem solved. <laughs> um, you know, I love women's gear brands, obviously, and I buy from them, but I didn't, you know, think that at this juncture that's like lucrative enough for me. It's so small portion of my audience. And um, as my business grows, I'll be able to afford to do more maybe women's specific gear. But for now, I want to do gear for everybody. <laughs> so we're just cruising. We're going to go down and around the lakefront. And then I gotta hit it. I got some fun stuff in store for today. Going out for a steak dinner and then seeing comedian Tim Dillon <laughs> out in Brookfield. It's like a suburb of Milwaukee. It's funny because we're going to the Milwaukee Improv in Brookfield. And then I wonder like if comedians who come through here think that Brookfield is Milwaukee. But they've got to know there's more to it. <laughs> if they flew in here, I don't know how they got here. They could have taken like, I don't know, private jet or like a tour bus or something but I just hope that people really get a sense for what Milwaukee is all about and they come through. Wow there's like a big freight ship out on the on Lake Michigan right now. Oh cute. It just feels like people aren't doing as much as they used to or I don't really know. I even just socializing regularly has been so difficult for me and I'm an introvert and so Nine times out of ten, I don't want to hang out in the first place, but I've been having such a hell of a time getting people to, like, do shit with me, and it's starting to make me wonder, like, am I the problem? <laughs> Does no one want to hang out with me? <laughs> and, I don't know, it's hard to tell. <laughs> I'm never fully convinced that people want me around, but sometimes you just have to pretend that people like you and hope for the best, but I think, I think one part of it is that, here, so I'm just going to start, like, riffing on, like, my friendship theories. <laughs> I think half of social life is just being around. It's just being like a regular somewhere. And the fact that I work remotely and then Dan and I just hang out with each other and oftentimes when we're hanging out with each other, we're collaborating on work. And then when we're not collaborating on work, we wanna like relax and we don't wanna do anything crazy most of the time. So, you know, I, we aren't like around many places for people to just be like, hey, you wanna do this after or wanna hang out? So it's so hard to make friends <laughs> and even with the friends you do have to get to be thought of to be invited to things because we're just like not around and then people don't think of us <laughs> so I just like lately I think I'm just gonna give up <laughs> or I'm just gonna also a couple of people that I really hit off with have moved away I wonder if we're at that stage where the people who are most like us are like leaving to go to the coasts that's been happening a lot and it makes me kind of sad because it's hard to retain talent in Milwaukee. We hemorrhage people a lot. And, uh, you know, Dan and I are committed pretty much to seeing it through and to thriving in Milwaukee. But sometimes it feels like everybody who's going places is leaving. Uh, and we're going to New York to visit, but <laughs> not that we're never coming back. If I could imagine myself living somewhere else, it would probably be New York, which is honestly probably way too much of a struggle for me. I don't know if I could like emotionally, well, I don't know if I had enough money. New York is easy if you have money right here. <laughs> so we're trying to, you know, get our money here and then, I don't know, but sometimes you should go to New York, get your money and then bring it back here. And then you ball out here. I don't know. These are just my thoughts. I haven't had a rambly vlog in a while. Um, but yeah, just trying to like, make sure that I'm not doing just too much work but then also it's like I really like what I do and I enjoy my work so I'm glad that I can do it and some of this stuff is stuff that needs time to incubate so like the sooner I do it the better and maybe the sooner the payoff because you know as you guys know or maybe don't know entrepreneurship and building a business has its downsides and the big thing of that is that it tends not to be, uh, tends not to make money until a couple years in. <laughs> and I'm a couple years in, and I think I'm like breaking even generally, but then like once you, once you have money, then you, you reinvest it. So you're never really making money in the beginning. So 
I'm hoping that all these efforts pay off. I'm not doubting. I mean, sometimes I'm doubting. I'm like, why am I doing any of this? <laughs> why am I doing this YouTube channel? Why am I like trying so hard? But I think it's, it's good to be around other people who try hard <laughs> and then you see some payoff for some reason. So that's why it'll be nice to go to New York and revisit Jane Moto. They do, they're kind of like the aspirational business to me. And now they have two locations and they have like a lot of original products that they, they design. So I'm looking forward to like actually meeting the guys this time who run it. Last time I was there, I just kind of visited and I know I was a little too shy <laughs> to chat up the people there. But this time I planned ahead and I already reached out. So that'll be fun to network with people doing the stuff that I want to do and the stuff I want to bring to Milwaukee because I think that's important. And <laughs> I, even though I'm introverted, I like, you know, community building. I like real connection with people and I like uh, that motorcycles can help enable that. So uh, might as well end it here <laughs> because I got to just do other things today and I got to get some damn coffee. <laughs> It's 3.30, is it too late for coffee? I'll never survive this day if I don't have just a little bit, especially wrapping up my cold. Uh, I shouldn't be contagious anymore. But what do I know? Anyways, thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for supporting the channel. And thank you for checking out Great Lake Supply Co. Uh, it is my baby. It is something I'm really proud of. You know, everything visual you see, I did it. <laughs> um, everything you know all the designs the website all that shit is me i am the idea gal i'm everything behind it and eventually it'll grow to include some other people but for now it's little miss me creative director and people i rope in to <laughs> uh help with content sometimes like dan make him shoot photos of me and i'll shoot photos of him too because <laughs> you guys have to see what this gear looks like on guys so Thanks so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. Tell a friend. All right. Till next time. Ride safe. You're the best. Oh, these people are getting married. Oh, what a perfect day. <laughs> Congratulations. Um, until next time. I already said that. Ride safe. Bye.